Hello, everyone. So, in the last session, we have created this basic extent report, uh, which is showing a very useful information to get the overall idea about our test execution. So, it is showing the information about the timing, started, ended. We are getting different information about the author, tags, devices from these tables. And in the system information, we have shown how many tests got executed, how many pass, how many fail, and what is the pass percentage. So, in this report, I don't have the counters for different classes. So, we are running the test cases from the sign in page, then we are running from the registration page as well. But we don't know how many tests pass, fail from this sign in page, how many tests pass and fail and skip from this registration page. Okay, so that information we don't have in this report. So, if we can get that information in the extent report, you will get better idea about how many tests pass, fail, and skip from the particular test engine class or test engine test. So, for that purpose, we can make use of the categories in the extent report and that information will be shown in this text table. And the other thing that we will see how we can add a custom HTML table in this extent report. Okay, so that table will show the test summary. So, here we are already showing the test summary, right? So, instead of this row, we will add a custom HTML table itself in this section. So, using this create test method, we are creating the separate test in our extent report. So, I just have to create one more parameter here for the class name or test. So, first let's create the class. So, this value I am going to pass to this assign category. So, we can send multiple values for this assign category separated by the comma. Okay. And we are calling this method from our listeners class. So, here we need to pass this class name. So, after the groups, we are going to send the class name as well. So, this is the only setting that we need to do to get the counters, pass, fail and skip for this registration page or sign in page. So, in your framework, you can have multiple classes like page classes. So, for every page class, you will get the counters. So, I am going to run it in parallel mode. So, I am just pausing the video. I will resume once the execution is completed and then we will check the report. So, execution completed. Let's check the report now. Let's go to the dashboard. And here in the tags table, you can see we got this sign in page test. So, from that one test pass, we got the 100% pass percentage. And from the registration page, one pass, one fail. That's why it is retried for one more time as per our retry analyzer. So, skip will be one. Okay, so this is how we will get the counters at the class level. So, we can add multiple tags or multiple categories in the extent report. So, same we can do for the test as well. So, currently in the XML file, we got the counter for the classes, right? So, same we can get for the test level as well. So, currently we are running only one class as a part of this test. But in our actual framework, we can run multiple classes in a single test, right? From the XML. So, if you want those counters, that also we can get. So, same setting we need to do in the extent report. One more parameter we need to add here for the test. So, this value also I am going to add here. Then from the my listener, we need to get the XML test name. So, how we can get it? Result dot get test context dot get name. Okay, so this will return the test name directly. So, send this value from here. After the class name, we will send the test name also. So, in the extent report, we will get these names also. So, it's done. Let's see the report. So, in the tags, you can see we got the test name as well. So, it's up to us if you want the counters at the test level or class level. So, we can add multiple categories in the extent report for that purpose. So, now let's see how we can add the custom HTML table in this extent report. So, for that purpose, we are going to use the HTML. So, if you have some basic knowledge about HTML, that will be very easy for you. So, we will be using extent report manager class. So, here what I am going to do, I will add one more method here, public static. Let's say create custom table. So, here we are going to create one string variable, string 
the custom table is equals to so when we want to create a table in HTML we need to use this tag table so for this table we need to add the properties like its border its width then uh, its color so that we can do by using this style attribute so this is how I have added the width 100% border to pixel and color will be black so we need to add it in the double quote so we need to at the end we need to close this table right so I will add ending table tag so we created this table tag so inside this table tag we need to add the rows and columns right so we can use tr and ts tags for that purpose so let me add it so this is how we can add the rows and columns inside this table so we will have two rows okay so this is our first row starting here and ending here and this is our second row so in the first row we are adding total test pass fail skip and parse percentage in the columns and for those columns we will show the values in the second row okay so we are going to send these values whenever we are going to call this method at the end of our execution we are going to call it using the base test in the after suit okay so we have already values for those counters so here I am going to comment these values it will directly show the HTML table in the system information so using the class name we can call that method dot create Ooh, it is not showing here let me check so I did the typo mistake here it should be create right so while calling this method we need to send all these values in the string format so I will just copy from here this will be our first total test value similarly I will send the other values so this is how we can send these five values to this create custom table method so we need to catch those values so I need to change the method to accept the strings so our first string is total test this is the second one okay so from the base test we will send all these values and using those information we will create this custom table so this table we need to add in our system information section so use the extent object dot set system info so my first value is the table name so this is my test summary table test summary okay and this is the information I need to create for that table so we will directly send this string value so this string containing all the information for that HTML table in the rows and column okay that's it so before flushing the report we need to call this method okay so make sure you are calling that method before flushing the report so let's run and let's see whether that table is generating or not so execution is completed so just refresh it So in the system information we are getting that table so instead of adding the different values in the different rows we are getting in the form of table now okay so this looks much better so I'm just changing the theme by pressing the L from the keyboard so I can customize this test summary table as per my requirement we can add more columns in this table up and we can show the browser value we can show the on which environment we run the automation then URL of the application also right so most of the important things as a test summary we can add inside this table and we can change the color also currently we are using this black and white so we can change the color for these headers okay then color for the borders also so I am going to update the create custom table method to do all these variations okay so I will directly add the code here so I have updated this create custom table to make it more beautiful so I have updated the border color to brown okay this is how we can do it then I have make text alignment at the center so currently we are getting the text at the left hand side so we will show at the center level then font size you can change to 10 pixel right uh, I have added uh, two more columns one is browser and URL okay so as per your requirement you can add multiple columns in this table so you just need to add this th so in the second row we are going to show the values okay so for the values I have used different colors so for the past I have used the green for fail I have used the red right for skip orange then uh, all other values in the blue color okay so you can change the color from here 
so using this customization uh, we will show the test in first row and summary at the second row so as we have added two more columns browser and url i am getting that value in these string parameters so those values we are going to send from the base test we just need to read these values so for reading these values we have already created our config reader class and uh, using the getter methods we can directly fetch the values for url and browser so all these seven values we are sending from our base test and this will be used in our custom html table so we have done a lot of variation so let's see whether it is working or not so instead of black and white table we will get a proper colorful table in our extent report now let me pause this i will just resume once execution is completed it's done let's say the report so i'll be opening it in duplicate tab let's see the difference so this is with the dark theme you can see a test summary it is showing like this with the bold and these are the columns we got in different colors so this is for the dark theme and you'll press l so this is for the white theme so all the values we are getting in the color so pass we are saying uh, we are showing in the green color fail in red orange and other values in the blue okay so as we are going to uh, share this report with other members right they will get idea about what browser you run your automation what is the url of the application or you can send the your environment name also from here and if possible you can send the credentials also username and password because they can directly use the url they use those credentials and check the failures so this is how we can add this test summary custom html table in our extent report and by using the different categories you will get the different counters for our different classes or different tests from the xmls